Hey there, card enthusiasts. Today, we're embarking on an extensive exploration of the intriguing history of playing cards, the timeless rectangles that have captivated us for centuries. Get comfortable, grab your favorite deck, and let's delve deep into the mesmerizing world of playing cards. Playing cards carry a rich and fascinating history that traces back over a millennium. Originating in China during the Tang Dynasty, these cards embarked on a journey to Europe, gradually evolving into the familiar decks we handle today. Now let's unravel the multifaceted uses of playing cards. Beyond their role in card games, these versatile rectangles have found their way into various realms of entertainment and divination, shaping cultures worldwide. Magic, the ancient art of illusion, has been intricately connected with playing cards for centuries. Magicians ranging from the legendary Houdini to modern conjurers like David Blaine have utilized the deck to craft mind-bending illusions and awe-inspiring sleight-of-hand tricks. The ordinary deck transforms into a portal of wonder and astonishment. Venturing into the realm of gambling, playing cards have become synonymous with the thrill of chance. Casinos, poker nights, and an array of card games have transformed the deck into more than just numbers and suits. It's a vessel for creating memories and stories, one hand at a time. Cardistry, a mesmerizing art form, takes card manipulation to new heights. Through intricate flourishes and cuts, cardistry transforms a simple deck into a canvas for artistic expression. It's not just about winning games. It's about turning each shuffle into a captivating performance. Ever pondered the mystical side of playing cards? Welcome to Cardomancy, the age-old practice of fortune-telling using cards. Whether laying out a spread for guidance or exploring the symbolism of each card, playing cards have found a profound place in the world of divination. Now let's dispel some myths that swirl around playing cards. Stories and superstitions are abundant. One suggests that the King of Hearts is the Suicide King due to a sword seemingly piercing his head. Another myth claims playing cards were created by the devil himself. Spoiler alert, they weren't. Their origins lie firmly in earthly history. As we navigate this extensive journey, it's crucial to acknowledge the deck's symbolic meanings and the cultural significance of each suit. Hearts represent love, diamonds signify wealth, clubs symbolize agriculture or clover, and spades denote nobility or a spearhead. The design of the modern deck, with its four suits and face cards, was heavily influenced by French playing cards introduced in the 16th century. The standard 52-card deck, consisting of hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, has become a universal format used in various card games worldwide. As we continue to unravel the layers of playing card history, it becomes evident that these little rectangles are not mere tools for amusement, but rather cultural artifacts that have stood the test of time. If you've enjoyed this comprehensive exploration, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know which aspect of playing cards you find most fascinating, or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to delve into in the future. Thanks for embarking on this extended journey with us. Until next time, keep shuffling and dealing the cards of life. See you in the next video. And of course, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.